Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here, D-Tech Encoding Stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I'm doing this Java series on hacker ranks. I'm going through all the Java problems. Everything else in the description. Playlists on my channel. Um, Java if else. Okay, so we did the first two. We did Hello World and we did printing to output. Um, this is a challenge. We're going to test your knowledge of if else conditional statements to automate decision making processes. An if else statement is true uh, and has the following logic flow. So, what is an if else statement? So, you know, in programming, you might want your program to do something based on a condition, right? So, you might get a number. You might, so like, say you had a club. Say, you were, say you're running a club and you want it to be 18 plus, right? You would take someone's age, so age would be set to 17. If someone's 17, then we want to do, okay, if someone's 17, then we're going to say, no, you're not allowed in. If someone's over 18 then, or equal to 18, then we're going to be like, oh, you're 18, you're 19, sure, then you're going to be allowed in. So we're going to just say yes or we're going to say no based on something, right? So this is the same for if-else statements. And then there's um, if, else, if, and everything else, right? So we have... Um, if true of this, this is just the logic flow. So we're, our task now is, given an integer n, so we're going to be given a variable n that stores an integer, perform the following conditional actions. If n is odd, then we're going to print weird. If n is even, an inclusive range of 2 to 5, then we're going to print not weird. If n is even, an inclusive range of 6 to 20, uh, print weird. And then if n is even, greater than 20, print not weird. So there's a lot of conditions here. Uh, we're going to use else if. So... Um, we got scanner, we take in our n is our variable that we're looking at here. So first of all, well, let's, let's look at the first condition. If n is odd, print weird. So how do we check if n is odd? Well, n modulus 2, modulus means the remainder. How many times does 2 go into n? So if 2, if n is 2, then 2 mod 2 is 0. If n is 3, then two, 3 mod 2 is 1. It's how many times does n go into 2. So, um... If n mod 2 you can do is greater than 0, you can do is not equal to 0, I'm going to do is greater than 0. Um, then that means it's odd. So if n is odd, then we're going to print weird. And we remember how to print still. System.out.println. Weird. Right? Boom. Super easy. Now, if this, is, if this is the case, wait, we might have to, if it's odd, print weird. If it's even in the, in the um, inclusive range, Okay, so we're going to have an else. So if it's odd, we're going to print this. Else, that means it's even, right? So if it's even, and then we're going to do some more checks here. If n is in the inclusive range of 2 to 5, print not weird. So if n is greater than or equal to 2, and, and means and, now it's two conditions, n is less than or equal to 5, this is basic, basic programming, um, and we're going to print not weird. So system.out.print ln not weird. It's not weird. Um, now let's look at the next one. If n is even and in the inclusive range of 6 to 20, so we're going to do else if. That means if this didn't pass, we're going to check this condition now. Um, else if uh, 6 to 20, inclusive or not inclusive? inclusive. n is greater than or equal to 6, and n is less than or equal to 20. What do we print? We print weird. So we're just going to copy this print statement, and we're going to remove the not. And then finally, if n is even and greater than 20, print not weird. So you can do else, and what you can print because this is going to do anything where n is other anything other than these conditions. And it looks like with the data that we're given, this is going to be the case. But I would definitely say, in this case, we should do another else if, right? So um, if n is even and greater than 20, print not weird. Because we we're not really given instructions for every other operation. Did it say not weird? I'm so dumb. Okay n is greater than 20. Okay, so let's submit this, see what happens. There we go, we read the solution right, submitted first try, there we go. 
Just remember you check conditions and then based on that condition you do something. Otherwise, any other case where this isn't the case, something else happens. And else if is definitely useful for narrowing down specific cases. So make sure you use else if um, when you have specific cases that you want to handle and else for all possible cases other than your if and else if conditions. Um, yep, that's it. Next video. So that was number three. Check out the other ones. I'm going to have 37 more now. Thanks and see ya.